Welcome to the Queen Anne Hotel. The building was built in 1890 by Senator James Fair, originally meant to be Miss Mary Lake's school for girls. Miss Mary Lake was the headmistress of the school. After a few years, the school closed and she disappeared. But guests of the hotel have said she's been visiting ever since. Others like to say it's the girls, the former students of the school that have been hanging out and keeping the place tidy. We have here with us Rana Chang. Where are you from? Well, I live here in San Francisco. Uh-huh. Um, Soma. Okay. And what do you do? I have a kombucha company. House Kombucha. Excellent. So tea? Yes. Yes. Would you consider yourself an intuitive person? A sensitive sure. person? Yeah? Yeah. Good. If you'd kindly have a seat in the chair facing the back of the room. We have someone very special inside of here. This is a Kessner doll, uh, made at about 1906. Uh, the, uh, the face is porcelain, the arms are paper mache, and the hair is real. Wow. This is the kind of doll some of the girls at the school may have actually owned. Hmm. A very popular brand of doll. We're going to place her right over here. Now, stay, staying seated right there in the chair, if you wouldn't mind just planting your feet on the ground, both hands on your knees. Excellent. Pick a spot on the far wall to stare into, and don't break contact with that spot. Take a deep breath, out through your mouth, another deep breath, out through your mouth, one more. Now, actually, if you'd very kindly put both your hands out just like that, and just a little further apart, and then tight fists, both of them, tight fists. Now, whatever happens, keep your fists closed until the very end, okay? You'll understand why at the very end, okay? And actually, we're going to ask you to just bring them just a little lower, just like that. Now, is that comfortable enough? Mm -hmm. Great. I'm going to give you this. And you may keep this after. Okay. We're also going to give one to her. So, from here on out, I will ask you very kindly to remain open and sensitive to everything you're about to think, feel, hear, all of it. Okay. Um, the very hairs in the back of your neck, the sleeves on your arm, all of it. From here on out, do not smile. Do not laugh. Do not scream. I promise you everything will be all right, okay? Please close your eyes. Also keep your eyes closed until the very end. Take a deep breath. Out through your mouth. Another deep breath. Out through your mouth. Once again. It's a little game of imagination. We're just going to play. Now just focus in on the sound of the music in the box. Just let your imagination just float and drift inside of all of those musical notes. And really just take a moment now and enjoy that. Good. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you a question. And please um, answer this question very, very honestly.
A moment ago, did you feel me stroke you on the arm? Yes. Yes? Yes. How many times? Twice. Good. We're going to do it again. Don't say anything yet, okay? Another moment ago, did you feel me tickle your face? Yes. Yeah. And what does it feel like that I'm tickling your hand, arm, and face with? Some kind of hair? Interesting. A feather? Keep your eyes closed, keep your fingers closed. You said a feather. Mm, yes. Interesting. Keep your eyes closed, keep your hands closed. Did you feel anything that time? No. Interesting. That time? No. No? No. Good. Keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna ask you one more time. A moment ago, did you feel me touch you on the hand? Yes. How many times? Once. With the opposite hand, please point to the hand that I touched. Great, put your hand back, keep your hands closed, keep your eyes closed, you're doing really well. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Left. Great, put your right hand down. Yep, yep, put it all the way down your knee, keep your left hand in a tight fist, and raise your left fist high in the air. Higher, higher, all the way up, keep your left fist clenched tightly, squeeze your own fingers. Squeeze your own fingers so tightly into your fist, you can feel your own heartbeat in your hand. Tell us when that's happened. Yeah? Funny feeling, isn't it? Your own heartbeat in your hand? Yeah. Kind of feels like something is moving inside of there? No, I'm squeezing my thumb. I'll try again. It's okay. Did you feel me come close to you that time? Did you no. feel me touch you or breathe on you at all that time? At the count of three, please open your fingers and your eyes at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. I'd like to thank Rana for joining us this evening. Let me shake your hand. Thank you so much. Thank you. The music was spooky. Did you feel me at all come close to you with a smudge in your hand? No? No. And what would you say if I told you I never actually touched you? I don't... I don't believe it. <laughs>